To edit a video using YouTube's built-in video editor, first click on your icon in the top right corner here on YouTube and click on YouTube Studio. From here, go to the left menu and click on content and locate your video. In this case, it was a live stream. And if I scroll down, I'll find this one. This is the podcast that I want to edit. So I'm going to click on the details button. To access the editor, I go over to the left here and click on editor. The YouTube editor has additional tools as well as the trim and cut. You can add blur, you can add audio, you can adjust end screens, info cards, and even add breaks. But what we want to do for this one is actually trim and cut. So we're going to click on the plus button. Now by default, it's set up a trim point at the start and at the end, because quite often you want to clip out some at the start as well as the end of your video, which is exactly what I want to do for this podcast. Using the editor window at the bottom here, we can scroll through and click to move to a different spot in the video. We can also use the zoom here to actually zoom in to find the exact edit point we want, which in this case is going to be up here where you can see me counting in this podcast and then starting. If we want to actually play that, we hit the play button. Counting myself in. Three, two, hit the pause button at the point where we want to actually cut in the video. I can then use the zoom to zoom back out, grab this handle and actually trim out all of that starting section right up to the point that we had there. To do the fine tuning editing, once again, we grab our zoom handle here, move on in and go to this level and then we can just drag it on across and the exact point it starts is the right hand side of this blue bar. To test it, just hit the play button. This week on the Studio Live Today podcast, Done. To trim the end, let's do the same thing. We'll zoom all the way back out again. And again, we can grab this handle and place it around the point where we think the show is going to end. Once again, we can use our zoom here to actually find the spot because you'll see by the audio waveform there, the points where we've actually stopped. So let's move this to the right point now. We'll click and drag that end point and pop it around about there. We'll zoom back in again and make sure that it's right at the spot. And again, to test it, let's just come back a little bit, hit the play button. It's time on the Studio Live Today podcast. Perfect. Now, as well as trimming the end and the start of a video, we can also trim out a segment in the middle, which is super handy if you need to cough or take a drink, which is exactly what I did in this one. So let's show you that now. In this case, I know that I had to take a drink in this podcast around about this 15 minute 50 mark. So let's zoom on in and see if we can find that little piece of video and audio. If we can scrub through, we can click and drag through. There I am taking a drink. So let's find the start of where we'd like to trim this by hitting play because we have a lot of really cool features that have been added to YouTube. And that's what we want to talk about now. We'll have a quick beverage. There you go. So that point where I say we'll have a quick beverage, I'm going to take it back to there. That's going to be the cut point because I don't need that there. So let's hit the new cut button and you'll see that we have a section here that we're actually going to cut some of this video out. Now we don't need as much as it's put there. So let's zoom back on out and just bring this handle back closer to here. Zoom back on in and we need to define the section that we want here. So I think that's the point where I come back in. And the cool thing here is we can now, if we just zoom out another little level there, we can play this section and it'll give us a little preview of what it will be like without that bit in the middle. But that's what we want to talk about now. Well, there's a lot going on in YouTube and in no... There you go. So it's it's a pretty decent cut there. Yeah, there's only a little gap in there and it's removed the bit where I drink my coffee, I have a cough and we can remove that. To finish this off, we simply hit the cut button there and that's going to lock that one in as a cut. And you can see here, if we need to come back and edit, you can hit the edit button there and edit that again. But that's going to put that in as well as the trims we've done at the start and the end. And you can see it represented by that little box there. And again, if you want to do additional cuts, you simply find the spot where you want to cut again, hit new cut, and it's going to do the same again. You can do that same process to define it. If we don't want that cut, we just hit the X and to delete a cut we've already made, you can obviously hit the delete button there or down here. A question I get at this point is, can you add in your own audio and video to an existing video? And unfortunately, the answer is no. YouTube doesn't allow you to add in additional video to an existing video. The only option you have is that audio option you saw on the front menu, and that's only to add in audio from the YouTube audio library. Once you're happy with all of the edits you've got in place, you can simply hit the save button and you're going to get this screen. It's going to tell you that it may take a few hours and during that time, viewers will see a current version of the video, the unedited version. You won't be able to make other changes while this edit's taking place and the original version will be stored. So you can 
undo it if you don't like the edit in the end. So all we now to do, need to do now is hit the save button and that's gonna go and start processing our video. Now important note, if you've just done a live stream or just uploaded the video, instead of the save button, you will see a save as, save as a new version. You don't wanna do that unless you do wanna create a new edited version. If you wanna update the original version of the video, make sure you wait until it's actually processed and you'll know that because you'll have a save button here, not the save as new. So we can now click the button in the top left here to go back to our channel content. And if we come to this one here, you'll see that if we go back into the edit here, we can go here into the editor again, and it's going to tell us that it's currently being processed. Now we'll know it's done because it'll no longer say that. And when we go to actually view the video, it'll actually have the new edited version of the video available to be viewed. One final bonus tip, make sure if you use timestamps in your video that those are updated once the video is processed, because obviously your start time and the overall length of the video will change once you've actually done this editing. This 56 minute video will go down to a 42 minute final edited podcast. And if you'd like to see the final edited version, jump down into the description where there's a link to the podcast. You can check it out. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.